This is year 10 in Llantaf School in Cardiff. The students in this class are between 14 and 15 years old, and there are about 30 in each class. They all speak Welsh and English, but today the students are learning how to speak French. In most schools in England and Wales, students have to learn a foreign language, but they don't have to choose French. In this school, for example, students can also learn German, Spanish, Italian and even Latin. Whatever language they choose, they will have three to four 40-minute classes every week and they'll have to do an exam at the end of the year. Today, these students are learning how to describe their hometown. The teacher explains the language and the students have to take notes and answer questions on worksheets. Discipline in class is quite strict. The teacher doesn't allow chatting and the students have to obey the rules. Technology is becoming more popular in British classrooms. This teacher is using a projector to practice vocabulary and pronunciation. Most students enjoy learning a new language, but not all of them. This is an English lesson at a private language school in Oxford. The classes here are quite small. There are usually about eight students in each class. Most of the students here are adults and they come from lots of different countries. They say that if they learn English, they'll have a better chance of getting a good job. Because these students are adults, Discipline isn't a big problem. The teacher and the students try to have fun and lots of the activities involve working and speaking in pairs and groups. The teacher must be active, enthusiastic and hard-working. Caroline Redding, another English teacher in Oxford, explains what teaching English as a foreign language is like. Why did you decide to become an English teacher? Well, I left university and didn't know what to do and I decided I wanted to travel. So it was a good way to see the world. What do you like best about the job? I think the best thing for me is um, being with people and just helping them with their learning, helping them get on in life with their English. What do you like least about the job? I think the worst thing is probably the marking, correcting their homework and essays. What problems do different nationalities have when learning English and why? The, the learners from the Far East and the Middle East have problems with writing and reading in English. And this is because their languages have a different alphabet. And so before they can start learning English, they have to learn our alphabet. And they also read from right to left, which makes it very difficult for them. Mm -hmm. uh, Italian, Spanish and I think French students also have problems with pronunciation. That's probably their biggest problem. And then if you uh, speak G German, so if you come from Switzerland or Germany, they also have pronunciation problems, but it's more to do with the intonation, as they can sound a little bit rude in English. What do you think is the most useful thing students can do outside class to improve their language learning? I think that outside the classroom, students should first of all do their homework and go back over what they've learnt in the classroom during the class. But I also think that they need to do more than that. They need to go on the internet, uh, watch films in English, if they can, read a book in English and socialise with people and also travel, because when you travel, you often end up speaking in English to people. But stop your Teaching mouth. English in a language school 
is quite different to teaching French in a secondary school. But both involve working hard and having fun.